Tech Eagles are coming in after two consecutive losses, both of which they did not score a point. And part of the reason is because they hemmed up with injuries, but uh, that's going to, I think, not be as much of a factor this week as the Franklin Tech Eagles have got back what a lot of people in the area believe is their main offensive weapon, and that would be the fullback, number 24, Bailey Young, the junior. He's been out with injuries. He's back. Tech does not have their starting quarterback, Jared Bergman. He'll be out for a couple of more weeks. But stepping into the pocket tonight will be uh, their sophomore backup, Owen Bashaw. And uh, we'll see how Bashaw does running offense against a pretty good frontier defense, uh, which comes in, of course, with a balanced running attack and also boasting the leading scorer uh, in the league right now in terms of rushing. Garrett DeForest, the sophomore, is having himself a great season. Also, Eden McMillan in the backfield will uh, catch the will touch the ball a few times. Uh, Frontier, however, is without their starting center, Xavier Santiago. He is out for the season with an injury. And uh, the guy who t is on the th got to look out for, I think, also in the Frontier starting lineup is Josh Samaski. He's a freshman running back. And uh, Don Gordon, the coach of the Frontier Red Hawks, says Samaski is the secret weapon. So I would expect some touches. I expect the Frontier will keep the ball on the ground. And uh, we'll see if uh, the Franklin Tech Eagles are able to test the pass defense of the Red Hawks. But the Hawks come in here in pretty good position, having defeated Mahar last week in Greenfield and uh, the week before as well. And they've also beaten Palmer on the road. So the Hawks come in at 3-1. And, and Franklin Tech will get the ball to start this game. And this is the first time I've been here under the lights. Uh, this is a brand new thing for Franklin Tech. It used to always be Franklin Tech games were on Saturdays because they had no lights. But that situation has changed this year. And it is going to be an interesting matchup tonight. Tech's going to come in here hungry, looking to try and put some points on the board, which they have not been able to do in their last two times out. In fact, they've only scored six points all season. And we'll pause for the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land? Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Daniel Gray is Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. All right. We're about set to end away with some high school football here on Frontier Community Access Television. Welcome to everybody joining us on YouTube. And you can watch all of these games that we do at the FCAT Media page at YouTube.com. And the Hawks will kick it off. 
Last time I saw the Red Hawks in action was against Pittsfield. And as I recall, the kicking game, it wasn't much of a kicking game in that one. The Hawks have ripped off three straight, thanks to our friends at Bear Country for carrying the load for us on the play-by-play -play the last couple of broadcasts. And next week, same thing as Frontier hosts Turner's for homecoming. And they're booted away. Ball taken at about the 20 yard line. And back up the right side, down the right sideline's got some daylight. And knocked out of bounds, great run back for Franklin Tech to start this game. And that's all the way into Frontier territory and he was one, one tackler away from breaking it. And that was Dante Rose Warren, the junior. And we first and 10 for Franklin Tech at the 39 of Frontier. Owen Bashaw again, the quarterback. It's an I formation. And the tailback. And that is the aforementioned Bailey Young who gets stood up. Gets a couple of yards though, down to about the 46. Make that the 36 of Frontier. That'll bring up second and about seven. We'll call it the 37. High formation again. And it goes to Young. Off right tackle, he's inside the 35 to about the 33, maybe the 34. That's gonna bring up third down and about four. Same set, and it goes to Young again, and that time he gets stood up and dropped in the backfield. No one full in front here on that one. Tackle made by number 50 on the play. Actually, that was Garrett DeForest, excuse me, with the tackle. And that's gonna push them back to the 35, which will bring up fourth and a long five, and they're gonna go for it. Four down territory here inside frontier territory. Same set, I formation. And they're gonna throw. Bash shot, rolling right. He's gonna try and chuck it, and it's out of bounds, incomplete, and Frontier will take over on downs. So good coverage downfield, gave Bashaw no one to throw to, and Frontier will take over for the first time. So the Frontier defense held against the great run back, and it'll be Frontier's chance with the pig skin, Matt Hildreth, under center for the Red Hawks. Again, the Red Hawks run a pretty uncomplicated offense. They run off tackle quite a bit. They'll run a counter here and there, but for the most part, it's a ground-based attack. And the motion goes Edo McMillan, and Hildreth is gonna throw to make a liar out of me on first down, fires it downfield, incomplete, very nearly intercepted. So that's gonna bring up second and 10. So just when I say that Frontier runs the ball a lot, <laughs> they come out with a passing play. And that, I think, is a Don Gordon trying to test the secondary of Franklin Tech see if it can be exploited at all. Hildreth can throw the ball, does throw it with good accuracy, despite you know, not being a tall kid, can definitely fire it downfield when need be. But the bread and butter is off tackle usually for the frontier. And the pitch goes to Edo McMillan on the right side, and Edo gets it up to about the 38 yard line. It's a gain of about three, second and seven. Seven. Just inside the 38. Goes to McMillan again. McMillan off tackle. Keeps pushing the pile up ahead, and I think he's got first down yardage. That was all Edo. Kept the legs moving, and it's the first down for Frontier. Up at about the 46 yard line of their own end of the field. Joe Gamash not happy. The Frontier Franklin Tech head coach not all that happy with the effort of that line on that play. They pinned back 37. You ought to be able to stop him at that point. 
The ball spotted at about the 47 yard line. First and 10 for the Frontier Red Hawks. Moving right to left. And whistle. And I think somebody might have taken off early. Legal procedure on the Red Hawks. That'll push him back five yards. To about the 42. Lots of games on tap tonight around the league. Uh, the big one I think that people have their chins wagging about is in Greenfield, where the East Hampton Eagles are in town to take on the Green Wave of Greenfield. Green Wave coming off a shutout over Franklin Tech last week. And of course, we have East Hampton coming to South Deerfield in a couple of weeks. We'll be there for that game as well. And inside give to McMillan. It was a reverse on the right side, and McMillan is down the right sideline. One man to beat, and he is brought down at about the 20-yard line, a long gainer for Franklin Tech, or for Frontier rather, and the Red Hawks are in business at the 20 of the Eagles. That was a nice little bit of a cross buck, and Ito just took off, great speed down that right sideline. First and 10 from the 20. And the pitch goes inside and back and down the middle of the field for a touchdown. Garrett DeForest adds to his league leading scoring total and makes it six nothing frontier. Well, that was almost too easy as DeForest got a good block and a cutback and he is in for six. From 10, uh, I think the 20 yards out at the extra point upcoming. Snap down, kick is up by Hildreth, and the kick is good. Come back up the field with the score Frontier 7, Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawk Football, Frontier Community Access Television. I want to take a moment to thank our underwriters making this broadcast possible tonight. They include attorney Dan Graves. He's Deerfield's town moderator. He's also a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Give him a call, 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. The website is bobbycsdjservice.com and Holiday Pizza, center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Red Hawks on the board, 7-0 with the kickoff to come. This one's taken at about the 15. And this time Frontier pursues very well and swarms the return man down at about the 28 yard line, looks like. The run back again was Dante Rosewarn. First and 10, Franklin Tech. At their own 28 yard line. I formation again, double wide ice to the right side. And it's going to be a flat pass. Complete to the wide out, Lucas Upham, Upham. And he is brought down after a gain of about a yard, maybe two. Going to bring up second and eight from the 30. Six thirty-three to go, first quarter. Frontier seven nothing. Franklin Tech in their second series. Pass up, rolling out, firing over the middle, pass behind the intended receiver. That was up him, incomplete. That'll bring up third and eight. Good idea, a little slant pattern, but the ball was just thrown behind. <laughs> ball spotted at about the 30, just inside the 30 yard line. Franklin Tech, high formation again. The pitch goes to Young. Young gets a couple of blockers, still on his feet, brought down at about the 35. And that's gonna bring up fourth and about three. 
And this time Tech, I think, will have to punt it away. And depending on how this punt goes, it could be good field position for the Frontier Redhawks. Where are they going to go? They're going to go in fourth and three. And they tried to get someone to jump, and I think they might have. Well, I didn't see a flag. And no, turnover. What did they say? It's, they made the first down. So, a gutsy call there by Joe Gamash. And it's a first down for Franklin Tech. I think they were trying to get Frontier to jump. It looked like somebody did on the Frontier side of the line. But it's first and 10 from the 38 for Franklin Tech. So an early gamble pays off for the Eagles. Pitch goes to Young. Young on the left sideline. Young, first down territory. And he's brought down about the marker. Did he get it is the question. If not, he's real close. Yeah, that's good for a gain of about nine. That'll bring up second and one at the 47 of Franklin Tech. I'm certain that uh, Joe Gamash is happy to have Billy Young back out there. High formation again, double lineouts on the right side. Best shot on the center. This time it goes to the fullback. And good per penetration by the Frontier D, and they stuff him back. I don't think he got there, but we'll see where they spot it. They may have to measure this one. Nope, they don't have to measure it. He did get it. First down for Franklin Tech. Ball is at the 48. So Tech moving the ball not badly here in this series. High formation again behind Bashan. Another slam pass. That's complete. Nice move the other way. This is Hunter Wozniak, and that time he gets hit behind the line and a flag is thrown. That might be, well, let's see what they call. Block in the back. It's gonna be on Franklin Tech. So the slam pass went to Wozniak. He tried to cut back the other way and one of the Tech players blocked the frontier defender in the back and that's gonna be a penalty. The question becomes, where does the spot happen? And it looks like they're going to spot it at the... they got to knock him back 10, I would think. The ref's trying to figure it out here. So they're going to knock him back to the 26. So it'll be about a 10 yard, it'll be a 10 yard penalty to bring up first. Looks like first and 20 from the 36. Formation again. Young and wrapped up beautifully. Again, character force. Got in there beautifully and just wrapped up Bailey Young and brought him down for a loss of at least a yard, maybe two. That's just solid penetration there by DeForest. He's a defensive back. Listen on the program. It looked like he was a stunting linebacker on that play. And that'll bring up second and 21. So Franklin Tech going in the wrong direction right now after the penalty and then a nice defensive play by DeForest. And slant pass, kind of incomplete. Pass was intended for Hunter Wozniak. And that'll bring up third and 20. So Bashaw's had a couple of chances to throw the ball. With little success. It's 23 to go in the first quarter. Third and 21 for Tech. Goes to Young again. 
actually, no, it was not Bailey Young. That was, that was Ian McClure with the carry. And he got no gain on the play. Fourth and 22 from the 35. I would think this would be a punting situation. Back to kick it is Kevin Rell. And the ball is going to bounce down at about the 35. Not a bad punt. And that's where the Red Hawks will take over. First and 10. I want to thank our underwriters making this broadcast possible again. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile DJ in the Valley for over five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. They are in South Deerfield. And attorney Dan Graves is the town moderator for Deerfield. He's also a practicing attorney. Call his law office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. First and 10 for Frontier. And again, the inside give off tackle. Goes to DeForest. He gets a couple of yards the hard way up to about the second 37. So it's a gain of two. Second and eight. Same formation behind Hildreth. Now Ido goes in motion. Fumble. And I think Franklin Tech recovered it. Frontier recovered it, rather. And he's falling on that ball was number 43. Now bring up third and about eight from the 36. Motion goes with Millen. Handoff goes to Ito. Ito went around right in. Didn't get much of a block, though, and it's brought down and loss of a couple, I think, on that one. We'll see where they spot it. But that time McMillan was headed for the sideline, but did not quite get the end block he needed. And that's going to be a loss of one. It'll be fourth, about nine. And the 36, and Frontier will have to punt for the first time. There's no other in punting formation right now. Now they're going to run back. It's Hildreth. Gonna kick it. Good punt by Hildreth. That's going to take a nice frontier roll. And he picked up at about the 16 and brought down at about the 20. So great punt by Hildreth. And the Eagles will take over at around their 21. So Frontier went to the line looking like they were going to run a play and instead the last second hold sprinted back and got off a nice punt. First and 10 tech from the 21. In formation again, that's been pretty much the set for Basham. Whistle, flag, and it's going to be procedure on the offense. I'm going to push him back five yards and bring up first and 15. Ball spotted just outside the 15 yard line. Uh, Franco Tech. About 30, about 40 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Frontier up 7 0, courtesy of the early 20 yard touchdown run by Garrett DeForest. Puts the end off inside. No, we're going to go on that one. And I think there's no gain on the play. It'll bring up third and 15. Actually, it might have been a loss on that one. 
about a yard. So ball started spotted right at the 15 yard line. High formation set again. And it's going to be a pitch to Young. Oh, and a little head to head contact there. Oof. Wow. And he went head to head with Ito, and Ito's got his bell rung on that one. And that is the end of the first quarter. We played one quarter here from Franklin Tech. End of one quarter of play. It's Frontier 7, Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Daniel Gray is Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Second quarter upcoming, Frontier leads 7-0, courtesy of a Garrett DeForest 20-yard touchdown run, followed by Matt Hildreth, point after kick. It's all the scoring in that first quarter. And Franklin Tech is facing a third and seven as we start off this second quarter. At about their own 23-yard line. Which goes to Bailey Young. Young gets a couple of blocks, and he is close to first down yardage, and they have it. Let's see where they spot. Balls at about the 31 yard line, maybe the 30, so it's fourth and short. Maybe you go for it here. They've had some success running the ball as of late. I just think you can give it to Younger. Maybe Bashaw just takes it up the middle himself. Coming out in the high formation. They're going to go for it on fourth and short. And it's going to go on the right side. And great pursuit by the Frontier defense. The handoff went to. Hunter Wozniak and Frontier did a great job sniffing that out, and they take over on downs. How much you can do about that one? That's, that was well defended. That was a good idea, and if he got in the corner, he definitely would have the first down and more. But it's a turnover, and Frontier takes over on downs. At the tw their own 27-yard line. 27-yard line, actually, a Franklin Tech, so break here for the Red Hawks. Step back, now in motion, goes McMillan again, fake the handout, Hildreth is going to throw on first down, and he fires it down the sideline. Incomplete. Pass was intended for Kieran and Freeman. And then I'll bring up second and ten. Not a bad first down play. Very nearly successful, but good pursuit by Franklin Tech. down by contact with the ball squirted out. So, you know, pushes ahead for about four, maybe five yards. Inside the 25 to about the 23, near the 24 yard line. Third, about six for the Red Hawks. 
Pitch goes. Millen again. He pushes ahead. I don't think he's got the first down, but he's close. Definitely not inside the 20. He goes, yep. Did they say he got it? No, I guess he did. Didn't think he made it, but he did. So first and 10 for Frontier at about the 18 yard line of Franklin Tech. So the Hawks knocking on the door of their second score. It's an 8 7 method. No one goes in motion again. And this is an inside give. And pushing up the middle of the fullback. That's good for a first and goal now for Frontier at about the seven yard line of Franklin Tech. And inside give. That was to DeForest to about, oh he got in, touchdown. So Garrett DeForest with a seven yard touchdown run. And that makes it 13 nothing. The extra point up here. Snap down, kick is up, and it is no good. So come back up the field with the score, Frontier 13. Take nothing. Red Hawk football. So Frontier flashes in for the second time in this game. They lead 13 to nothing with the kickoff upcoming. And the kick is down at about the 16 yard line and the pursuit. As a sea of red and white jerseys down there to wrap up the return man. And Tech will take over, first and 10 from their own 18 yard line. 8.19 to go in the half. Friends are up by a couple of scores. Tech has done a good job of running the ball the last series, but Frontier's defense has been pretty strong as well. Certainly the Pass defense has been holding up. First and 10 from the 18. Same formation, high formation. Goes to Young, and he's bottled up. And brought down at about the line of scrimmage. We a loss of one. So they bring up second and 11 from about the 17. Second and 11. Lang on the play. And that's going to be a legal procedure on the offense. So that's going to knock it back to a second and 16 from the 12. High formation set again. Bashaw's gonna throw. Fires it downfield. Oh, incomplete. Pass intended for number 28, Hunter Wozniak. And the, again, the ball was thrown just a hair behind him. It's a good idea. And that's gonna bring up third and about 16. Now, Wozniak was open, but the ball was just again, a little bit behind him. Third and 16 at the 12. 
Young gets the pitch. On the right side yacht line, he's out of bounds. And nowhere near the first down marker, so it's gonna bring up fourth and long. At the 19th. Fourth and we'll call it nine. And Tech will have to punt. And again, this could be good field position for Franklin, or Frontier rather, depending on where this punt lands. Oh, and a block! And it's falling on by Frontier. So that couldn't have gone much worse for Franklin Tech than it did. And Frontier will take over deep in Franklin Tech territory at about the 12 yard line. So about the original line of scrimmage from the penalty. And a short field for Matt Hildreth and the Frontier Red Hawks. Hildreth hands it off inside. And close to the goal line, brought down at about the one. Very nearly a touchdown, but not quite. It's going to be first and goal. And ball spotted at about the one. Pitch goes to who else? DeForest. Over left tackle, touchdown. Garrett DeForest, one yard touchdown run, makes it 19 0. So DeForest continues to extend his league lead in scoring with a one-yard touchdown run. To make it 19-0 with the extra point upcoming. Hildreth will kick it. Jaden Freeman to hold. And it's a fake. Kiernan will keep it. And Kiernan tries to run it. And he is brought down shy of the goal line. So the two-point conversion attempt fails. We'll bring it back up the field with the score Frontier 19. This is Red Hawk football. So Frontier will kick it off with a 19-0 lead over the Franklin Tech Eagles. And ball taken at about the 23 yard line. Big hit at about the 32. <laughs> we'll get the number of that truck. Wow. And that's where Franklin Tech will take over. First and 10 at the 33. Six oh eight to go in the first half. Nineteen nothing Frontier. Tech trying to get something going offensively. The return of Bailey Young has not resulted in any points. And again, Tech has not scored any points in the last two games. Bashaw rolling out and screen pass nearly picked off by Hildreth. He was the only one near it, and that is incomplete. I'll bring up second and ten. And again, Franklin Tech starting quarterback. Jared Bergman, the senior, out with an injury for at least a couple more weeks, Jorgamash tells me. And Owen Bashaw has shown he can throw the ball, but unfortunately he hasn't had much luck hitting a receiver. Second and ten. Same set, out of formation. The pitch goes on the right side to Bailey Young. And the pursuit again by Frontier. Young picks up a couple of yards. And that's going to bring up third and about a long eight. Ball spotted just inside the 25-yard line. 
We'll call it the 24. Frontier's run defense has been pretty good tonight. Certainly has handled this, uh, this offensive attack timeout for Franklin Tech. While they take that timeout, I'll remind you we have some underwriters we want to thank for making this broadcast possible. They include attorney Dan Graves, he is a Deerfield's town moderator. He is also a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Kevin Murphy, Alec Echo, Sam Finch, all here in Turner's Falls. Rachel is also here taking some pictures for us, running the audio and running the camera. Bashaw rolling out, firing it downfield, incomplete, well defended. Intended for Wozniak, Karen Freeman was there to knock it away, and that'll bring it fourth and nine. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of air under that ball, but certainly one that was catchable. But Karen Freeman came over, and made a nice defensive play. And Tech will boot it away. Kevin Rell, the sophomore, back deep to kick it for the Eagles. And that time he gets the punt away. The last one got blocked. And it will stop at about the 44-yard line, which is where Franklin Tech will take it. Well, be sure and join us for future editions of Frontier Red Hawk football next week. Of course, it's homecoming. And Bear Country 95.3 will provide the commentary for the Franklin Tech Turner's game. First visit to South Deerfield of the newly named Thunder. And then following weeks, we have East Hampton coming to town. That should be a good one. And we we'll want to Athol as well. And Franklin Tech, if they keep playing the way they're for Frontier, right? if they keep playing the way they have, poised to go into the playoffs again this year. Hildreth, quick screen pass, incomplete, takes a hit as he threw it. And that'll bring up second and 10. Good penetration there by Franklin Tech to make it tough on him there. That was a screen pass over the middle. I believe Freeman was the intended target. That'll bring up second and 10 from the 44. And Hildreth hands it off. Inside give. And again, DeForest cuts back and gets back to original line of scrimmage, probably a yard ahead. We'll bring up third at about nine. So Franklin Tech is defending Frontiers, running pretty well. And timeout for the Frank, uh, Frontier Redhawks. And we will take the break. Late second quarter, Frontier 19. Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawks football. Frontier Redhawks. Third nine now for Frontier. And it goes to DeForest. DeForest bulls ahead. First down yardage of more than four or five guys trying to bring him down. That kid just does not stop those legs. And he's inside the Franklin Tech 40 to about the 39 yard line. First and 10, just inside the 40, as the Hawks moving the ball again. The Forest goes in motion. Hildreth rolling out on first down, and he kicks, tucks it and runs and gets back to about the original line of scrimmage. Good pursuit there by Tech. Actually, it looks like he might have lost a yard. That's going to bring up second and 11. just outside the 40 of Franklin Tech. 
4.03 to go in the half. The same formation. And the give goes on the right side. And this is DeForest again, a win in motion. And he gets back a couple of yards. Actually, excuse me, that was uh, number 19. That was Josh Samaski. Richard Samaski in the open. He's a freshman, but he is the new secret weapon for this team. So Samaski takes the handoff, gets a couple of yards Good back. Up to third and nine at about the 39-yard line of the Eagles. Fumble picked back up though as Samaski did a good job to pick up that ball off the ground and get something on nothing. And that's going to bring up fourth and about six, maybe seven. Ball spotted at the 35 yard line, just inside. So this is four down territory here for Franklin Tech. Excuse me, Frontier. They are inside Franklin Tech territory. And a whistle, timeout, Frontier. It looked like there was a late sub that came in and that Frontier was not quite set. So smart move by Don Gordon to call that timeout. Get everybody on the same page. I want to thank our underwriters one more time for helping make this coverage possible. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Best pizza in the area. And the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Also Bobby C's DJ Service. Best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Bobby C's DJ Service.com. And Dan Graves, attorney at law. Call his Greenfield Law Office, 773 He's also Deerfield's town moderator. Fourth and five. Now they're going to fake, and they're, actually they fake the, the kick. Handoff goes to Samaski. He blocks, it breaks a block, breaks a tackle. A good pursuit by Franklin Tech. So a little bit of trickery there comes up short. Nothing adventure, nothing gain there, but again, I like the call. This is the time when you get a 19-point lead to work on some stuff, and that time it wasn't a bad call. It just was a great pursuit by Franklin Tech, and they'll take over on downs at their own 35-yard line with 2.26 to go in the first half. I formation. And the pitch is going to go to Bailey Young. Young, that's hit 40, brought down. Again, good pursuit by Frontier, because they spread the field very, very well. And that was a good job to go in there and stop him before he really got ahead of steam. It's a gain of five for Young. Second and five from the Franklin Tech 40. High formation again, whistle. I'm out on the field. So Franklin Tech will take a timeout. And a reminder, if you're watching this game and you think, hey, I wouldn't mind having a DVD of that game, you can definitely order DVDs. We'll make them for you at Frontier Community Access Television. The DVD copies are $10 each. All you got to do is give us a call, 413-665-0012. And we'll get you a DVD made. And these are great stocking stuffers, too, if you're thinking about Christmas. And you got a player on one of these teams, and they're having a good game. Why not give them a DVD? They can play back years from now. I formation, second and five from the 40. And it goes to Young again. And gets sworn. Gain of a couple up to about the 47. So that's going to bring up third and about four, 47. So Tech is doing a pretty good job spreading the field a little bit more, giving Young a little bit more time to run. Let's go, 
third and four, bottom of the fourth, you got to do it. High formation set. Pitch goes to Young. Young cuts back. Got a first down up to about midfield. That's going to be a first down for Franklin Tech. Right at about the 50. There's a defensive penalty on Frontier, declined, and it's first down for Franklin Tech at midfield. A minute to go in the first half. And Bailey Young again up the middle. Into frontier territory to about the 47. It's game about three. They'll bring up second and seven, stopping the clock with 41 seconds left. Full timeout for Franklin Tech. Tech would duly love to punch one in here and get on the scoreboard before halftime. And right now, they're running the ball pretty well. I think that they've found a way to spread that line out a little bit and give you a little more time to come out of the backfield. In the frontier this year with wins over Palmer, Greenfield, and most recently, Mahar. And the Mahar Senators have a tough task tonight. They're taking on Turner's Falls in Orange. And that Turner's Falls Thunder team is for real. That's gonna be a great game next week for homecoming. In fact, this, that homecoming game, I dare say, very well might determine who goes to the playoffs. And we've got a lot of football still to play, but it looks like Turner's and Frontier are two of the top teams in the Intercounty League. Could very well be a playoff preview. I formation, second and seven. Fast shot of throw, and second down. Fires it downfield, complete to Wozniak. And he's out of bounds to stop the clock inside the 40. Or inside the 30, actually, of Frontier. So that time, Bashaw connects with his favorite target. And Franklin Tech is inside Frontier territory, deep. At about the 30-yard line with 34 seconds left in the half. Same set, high formation. And Bashaw's going to throw again. Timing pattern to Wozniak, incomplete. Karen and Freeman got up and batted the ball away. Karen had a bit of a height advantage there and took full advantage of that and knocked it away. So that'll bring up second and 10. Just inside the third. High formation again. And the pitch goes to Young. Young gets a cut little hole, finds a seam, gets down to about the 35, inside the 35 to about the 34. And Tech takes another timeout, stopping the clock. It's 22.3 seconds left in the half. So big third down here for the Eagles. Now they're running trips to the left. And Bashaw's gonna throw. And pass over the middle, incomplete, intended for Young. Just out of his reach. That's gonna bring up fourth and four. Again, not a bad pass at all. Just a tad out of the reach of Young as he stretched out for it, but could not quite get it. Bring up fourth and four from the 24. Fourth down, four on the 23 yard line. Bashaw's going to throw again on fourth down and pass to no one. Incomplete. 
And that's going to be a turnover on downs. And Frontier will take over with 12 seconds left. There's a flag on the play, behind the play. Let's see who that's going to be on. There's a legal shift, I think, on tech and decline. So I would think that someone will take a knee here, and that will be the end of the first half, which has been all frontier in the scoring column. As they lead 19 to nothing, courtesy of three running touchdowns by Garrett DeForest. They're going to run a play. And inside give to Ito. Up the middle. And he's got about eight yards. Has he got the first? They're moving the stick, so I guess he did get it. And actually, that's going to be the end of the first half. We have played one half from Franklin County Technical School on Friday night. In October. End of one half. It is Frontier 19. Franklin Tech nothing. Second half action upcoming. This is Red Hot Football, Frontier Community Access Time. Support RefCat's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Daniel Gray is Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 7738706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. We're underway hey, for the second half with the kickoff and Frontier. We'll return it at about the 20-yard line. And Eno McMillan rings it back up to just inside the 40-yard line, which is where Frontier will start first and 10. Frontier leads 19-0, courtesy of three first-half rushing touchdowns by Garrett DeForest from 20 yards out, 7 yards out, and 1 yard out. And the score is now 19-0. And that is the 10th straight quarter 10 straight quarters for Franklin Tech without scoring. And Frontier will start it off on their own 39, first and 10. And give goes inside to McMillan. McMillan out to about midfield. That's going to be probably good enough for a first down, I would think. Ball spotted at the 49, and they'll move the chains. First and 10 Hawks from their own 49. McMillan goes in motion again. The inside give goes to DeForest on a counter, and DeForest takes off like a shot. Another first down. And about the 49, I think that's a 40 or so of Franklin Tech actually going to spot him back at the 42. So I'm going to say his knee went down at about the 42. So it'll bring up second and about two from the 42 of Franklin Tech. Inside give goes to DeForest. He cuts back across and is in farther into Franklin Tech territory. Another first down as Frontier right now is moving the ball pretty much at will. Ball spotted at the 36 of Franklin Tech. And they push ahead. Close to the first down, but not quite. Ball's gonna be spotted inside the 25 at about the 23. So it'll bring up second and two. No huddle offense. And DeForest again. This time he gets tripped up at the line. So Frontier going no huddle. And it's pretty much an all ground attack.
Third down and about three. And the pitch goes. And nice, nicely pursued by Franklin Tech. That was Bailey Young. He came up and got Ito. That's going to push Frontier back to about the 30. Actually, wait a second. I'm going to spot him at the inside the 25, the 23. So it'll be fourth and about two. And a flag down. It's going to be a procedure, and that's going to be on Frontier. So they'll push it back five yards. It'll bring up fourth and about three. Chris Collins, Sam Finch, Megan Self, Al Gecko, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. Kevin Murphy, we are here at Franklin County Technical School and Frontier with a 19 0 lead knocking on the door. Right now, they're fourth and eight. Number 28. And the pitch goes. And they're not going to get there. Good defense. As Samansky is brought down, so Franklin Tech's defense stands. And the Eagles will take it over on downs. Ball will be spotted at about the 27, which is where the Tech Eagles will take over. Eagles take over, first and 10, ball in their own 27-yard line. High formation behind Bashaw. Gives to Bailey Young. Young bounces off a tackler, spins away. Bailey Young. Into the secondary. Wow, Bailey Young looked like he was stopped behind the line, broke a tackle, got another block and a hole, and he's got a first down. Great run by Bailey Young. That's going to be a first and 10 at about the 46 of Franklin Tech. High formation, Rosniak is the near side wide out. And goes to Bailey Young again, up the gut into Frontier territory. At about the 48, so the Tech Eagles putting some stuff together here. And the ball spotted at about the 49 of the Frontier Red Hawks. High formation again. Goes to Young again. This time he gets hit right at the line. Good pursuit. Actually, that went to Ian McClure. Now Young comes back in. So McClure, who is the backup tailback, comes off and Young comes back in. I'll bring up third and about five. At just about the midfield stretch. Formation again. Wozniak is the near side wide out. And the give goes to Young, puts his head down, pops. Got maybe a yard. So it'll bring up fourth and about four from the 48. Make the 49, actually. Fourth and five. Time out on the field, we'll take the break. We'll right on tech. Fourth and five, when we come back, this is Red Hawk Football, Frontier Community Access Tournament. 6.08 to go in period number three, and the Franklin Tech Eagles moving the ball pretty well. And it's gonna be a fourth and five at about the 49 yard line. It's an eye formation, so they're going to go for it on fourth and five. Wozniak goes in motion. Pitch goes to Bailey Young, and Young is not going to get much more than a yard, and it'll be a turnover on downs. 
So after a couple of good gainers, the Red Hawk defense holds, and they'll have the ball at about midfield, first and 10. Again, leading by 19 points, 19-0. Ball spotted at the Red Hawk 49. And an inside give. And good pursuit. By Tech. No gain on the play, that'll bring up second and 10 from the 49. Same set, and the shotgun. And it's gonna be a first down for Frontier. Actually, no, they did not get the first down. They got all the yards, so I bring up third and nine. Third down. Third and one. And pass is incomplete. And a new quarterback into the game. And that was DeForest, actually, was a halfback option. Look like. So fourth and one for Frontier. Side give. That's going to be a first down for the Red Hawks. Ball is spotted at the 35 yard line. First and 10 for Frontier. Forest under center. McMillan goes in motion. The pitch goes to Ito. Ito's got the corner. Nice block. Flag on the play, though. I think he's coming back. Probably a block in the back. We'll see what they call. No, oh, holding. So that's going to knock Frontier back about 10 yards. 4 3 to go in the third quarter. That explains why Ito had such an easy time getting around that end. Thought it might have been a block in the back, but it's a 10 yard penalty for holding. And it'll bring up first and 20 from the 43. First and 18. And DeForest kick takes the high snap, and he gets swarmed down at about the 45-yard line. Slams the ball in frustration. That's going to bring up second down, and very long for the Red Hawks. And fired downfield and complete to Hildreth. So 
It's a little switcheroo at quarterback, and Hildreth turns into a receiver, and that's the biggest gain of the day for the Red Hawks. First and 10, deep inside Franklin Tech territory. At the 14. DeForest, a quarterback. And the give goes to Hildreth out of the backfield, and he gets brought down. So some experimentation going on for Frontier. You got quarterbacks playing halfback. You got a running back playing quarterback. And that was a disaster. A loss of uh, about five yards. First and 15 from the 19 of Franklin Tech. DeForest rolling right. Pass to Hildreth, complete. Hildreth down in the corner. Did he get there? He's knocked out at the one. It looked like he hit the pylon, but he was out of bounds before he hit the pylon, so it's going to be first and goal. So DeForest to Hildreth on a screen pass, and it's first and goal. First and goal at the one. And a snap, handoff, into the end zone, touchdown, and a flag. So it's a one yard touchdown run. And there is a flag at the end of the play. With the extra point upcoming. So it's going to be on, that is going to be on Franklin Tech. With the extra point kick up coming. So 25 0 with the extra point on the way. <laughs> Stamp is down, kick is up by Hildreth, and the kick is good. So come back up the field with the score. Franklin Tech 26. Frontier 26, Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawk Football, Frontier Community Access Television. Hey, what's the outside? So Garrett DeForest with a fourth touchdown run from one yard out this time. And a Hildreth kick makes it 26-0. Two oh one to go in period number three. And the penalty on the kickoff is assessed. So they're kicking for the Franklin Tech 45. Ball's going to go into the end zone. And they're just going to sit on it and bring it out to the 20. So that 15-yard penalty was assessed on the kickoff. <laughs> Tech is going to have to come from their own 20. So Tech got a bit of a break there. They could have been pinned back inside the five. But the ball just squirted into the end zone. So first and 10 Eagles from their own 20. Pitch goes to Young. And he's close to first down yardage. And a flag now at the end of the play. So it's getting a little bit chippy out there right now. It's gonna be on Frontier. So that's gonna be an automatic first down and I believe a 15 yard penalty. That 
might have been a bit of retaliation for what happened in the end zone to DeForest. So attack on 15 at the end of that run. That'll bring the ball up to about the 49 of Franklin Tech. First and 10. Athol is right now leading Mohawk 37 to nothing in Athol. Inside give to the fullback into frontier territory. And that was Dominic Bowden Smith with that carry. Pick up a four, second and six from the 47. He does now have a second and six on Red Hawks 46 yard line. I formation set again. And Bashaw's going to roll out on second down. Pass to nobody in particular out of bounds. That'll bring up third in about six. And that may be intentional grounding. There was nobody near that ball. Actually, they're picking it up, so. No flag on the play. No flag. But it'll bring up a third down and about a long six. One oh six to go in the third quarter. Franklin Tech up 26 nothing. Frontier up 26 nothing. Franklin Tech with the ball. The pitch goes to Young. Young trying to cut back, and he's nowhere to go. Well, he still was able to get a couple of yards out of that one inside the 45 to about the 44. Going to bring up fourth at about three. I'll tell you, Franklin Tech. They've got a great fan base. Franklin Tech and Frontier really have fans that support their programs year in and year out, no matter what happens. These people are always out here sharing on their team. High formation, pitch goes to Young, right side, and he gets tripped up and he turn it over again on downs. Again, good pursuit by the Frontier line, and the Red Hawks will get it back at their own 45-yard line. Loss on the run. First down, Red Hawks. With 10 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And Garrett DeForest, all four touchdowns for Frontier in this game. And he is the league leader in scoring this season so far. By the shotgun, Hildreth with a pitch. And then this is Ito, it looks like. About midfield. And that was a deep pitch to McMillan, and he took it to the 49 of Franklin Tech, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. We played three from Turner's Falls at the end of three. Frontier 26, Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Daniel Gray of Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Megan Self, Alec Eckel, Kevin Murphy, and Sam Finch out here at Turner's Falls, Franklin County Technical School. Under the lights for the first time for the Franklin, Frontier Redhawks here, playing Franklin Tech. 
So the first year Franklin Tech has lights. Just, just my, my and the fourth quarter upcoming with the Frontier Red Hawks firmly in front, 26-0. And they had the ball second and six at their own, at the front uh, Franklin Tech 49-yard line, courtesy of the E.O. McMillan run. Tech moving right to left. Inside give, first down yardage. Spotted it just inside the 45 of Franklin Tech and then moved the chains again for Frontier. First down. First DeForest out of the shotgun. Runs it right side, keeps it, and gets tripped up at about the 40. So DeForest was running to, to throw it and decided to tuck it and run and got tripped up. Otherwise, that was first down yardage as well. Second and five. And he was tripped up on the play by Tim Fritz. Second and five for the Hawks at the 40-yard line of Franklin Tech. And this is going to be an inside give. Cut back. And that's Samaski again. That's a first down. Again, the freshman, Samaski. That's a name you're going to hear for a number of years to come for the Red Hawks. Ball spotted inside the 30 yard line, first and 10 for Frontier. Inside handoff. And that's going to go to Kirkendall, the sophomore. And he bowls ahead. And picks up about nine, it looks like. Yep, it'll be second and one. And the ball spotted just outside the 20 of Franklin Tech. Hildreth, hand off to DeForest. DeForest off to the races. And a fumble at the end of the play. That should be Franklin Tech ball. Ball scored it out right at about the one. And the Tech Eagles get a break as they recover at the two. Eagles ball. So it looked like DeForest was headed for touchdown number five, and instead, ball squirts loose, and Franklin Tech will take over with a long field, but they'll have the ball. High formation from the two. Goes to Young again. And he got back to about the original line of scrimmage, it looks like. We'll bring up second and 10 from the two. And Franklin Tech's got to worry here about a safety. Which would make the score 28 nothing if Frontier's able to knock him back. Quick screen pass over the middle, incomplete. I'll bring up third and ten. Third and ten from the two. Definitely starting to feel like football weather down. It is a
is October. It's a big third and ten here for Franklin Tech. Same set in the eye. And the pitch goes. A flag on the play. And it, look, and it looks like, was there a fumble recovery? They signaled a touchdown, but there was a flag on the play. They, they waved the flag off. And it looks like there's a fumble recovery for a touchdown that the refs are conferring now. We saw the touchdown sign made up. It was not a safety. It's a touchdown for Frontier, so a fumble in the end zone. And it's a fumble recovery in the end zone for a touchdown. Well, I mentioned the, the possibility of a safety, but I didn't think a fumble recovery was a possibility, but there it is. And that makes the score 32 to nothing. With the extra point upcoming. We'll have to get the name of whoever recovered that fumble. Couldn't tell from this vantage point. But the pitch went to Bailey Young, and somebody got in there and knocked it loose and fell on it. Hildreth to kick it. Snap down, kick up, and the kick is good. So we'll come back up the field with the score. Frontier 33, Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. So we didn't get the number of the person who recovered that fumble, but Matty Hildreth was in on the tackle, so. Jacob Price, okay. So we're gonna give Price credit for that, uh, that touchdown. And the kick is returned. And a flag down on the play. Let's see what the call is. It's gonna be a face mask on Frontier, it's like. So 7.49 to go in the game, and the Red Hawks lead 33-0. Courtesy of a fumble recovery in the end zone. And they're gonna mark this one off 15, so good break for the Eagles. Is they're going to start this drive at their own 41. I formation behind Basha. And they give it to Bailey again. Bailey Young up to about the 45 yard line. It's good for about four yards. It'll bring up second and six. Inside give goes to the fullback and it's brought down at about midfield. It's Dominic Bowden Smith with the carry, and he gets it to about midfield third and about one. But Tech is not going to win this game, but they'd love to get, see the end zone and break this scoreless streak they're on. And again, straight up the middle. It looks like he got there from my vantage point. That's the first down. About the 48-yard line, we're dead line on with it, and I could see that the referee was clearly over the first down mark. First and 10, Franklin Tech at the 48-yard line of Frontier. Clock is in motion with 6.22 to go in this one. Frontier up 33 now.
High formation, Wozniak is the near side wide out. He's gonna get the slant pass complete. Out of bounds inside the 40. Actually stepped out at about the 41, they're gonna say. So it'll bring up second and about eight. Actually, they spot it right at the 45. So yeah, second and about eight from the 45. High formation, the near side wideout is Lucas Upham, and it's a running play. Yeah, good for about a yard. It's Billy Young again, he's carried the ball a lot tonight. It's gonna be third and about seven at the 45. Formation set again, and the pitch goes to Young on the left side, and gets the corner, and he's close to the first down. Let's see what the spot gives him. It's gonna be at about the 40, and that should be good for a first down. Actually, no, let's see. No, it's a 41, so they're gonna bring up this one bring up fourth and about two. Long two. Fourth down tech. Just under five minutes to play. Inside handoff to the fold. The up back, actually. It's young, and I think he's got it. Yeah, he's, he's got it. First down, Franklin Tech. Good run. And the ball is at the 37 of Frontier. Franklin Tech moving the chains. High formation, Wozniak is the near side wide up. And they're gonna throw to Wozniak. And again, a ball just a bit behind him. If he'd pulled up a half a step, that would have been good. That's going to bring up second and ten. Ball spotted at the 37-yard line. I formation. And the pitch goes on the right side to Young, and he gets knocked down just shy of the first down. That'll bring up third and about one. From the 28-yard line. Ball on the front here, 28-yard line. Third down and one. Fumble in the backfield, uh, and Basha falls on it. So that was just a missed exchange. Now I don't think Basha ever quite had control of the ball, but he fell on it, kept it. That's a big loss, though. And I'll bring up fourth and eight. Timeout Franklin Tech. And while we go to that timeout, we will take a moment to mention our underwriters making this broadcast possible, thanks to attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. He is Deerfield's town moderator. He is also a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. And Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Don't forget, coming up next week, we will have Homecoming and the Turner's Falls Thunder coming to town and it could be a showdown of probably the two best teams, arguably, in the Inter-County League this year. Although East Hampton's certainly in the conversation, but 
Frontier Turner is a great rivalry, and that'll be a fantastic game. And the winner of that game could have the inside track to the playoffs. Bash shot, throwing on fourth down, and the pass is intended for Young, incomplete, and it's gonna be a flag, and that's gonna be pass interference. As Young was hassled, I think it might have been on Matty Hildreth, I'm not sure. I was questioning the call, but it's pretty obvious that Bailey Young was interfered with. So a break for Franklin Tech. And they're talking about the spot, I think. Oh, I, actually, the foul is on rough is roughing the passer. Well, I thought it was PI, but it's a roughing the passer penalty on Frontier. So that's going to be an automatic first down and knock him deep into Frontier territory at about the 20. So Franklin Tech gets another break. And 310 left. The only question now is. Whether Franklin Tech can break Ball the shutout. Again, yeah, they have gone 11 straight quarters without scoring. They would love to break that right here. Formation for Franklin Tech. Give goes to Young. That time it gets sniffed out. Well done by Frontier. And on that hit was number 63 for Frontier. Second and 10 from the 20. Pitch goes to Young on the left side and cuts back in the middle and again. Good pursuit by the frontier line. And he might have gotten inside the 20, maybe a yard. We'll see what they spot it. Timeout, Franklin Tech. We'll take the break. Two minutes, 10 seconds left to go in this one. And the Frontier Red Hawks lead. Franklin Tech Eagles 33-0. This is Red Hawk football. Frontier Community Access Time. Chris Collins, Megan Self, Sam Finch, Alec Echo, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports, Kevin Murphy, out here in Turner's Falls at Franklin County Tech. As... Frontier is going to win this game. The only question now is, will Tech get into the end zone? Third and 10 on the 20. Bashaw rolling out. And the pass is incomplete. Pass was intended for number nine, the wideout Lucas Upham. And it's going to bring up fourth and about nine. If they don't convert here, I would expect Franklin Tech to take a couple of knees and put them in the end. This will be Tech's fourth win in a row. They'll go to four and one in the season. After dropping that first game to Pittsfield, and they have won their last three, and this will be four. Pitch goes to Young. And Young tripped up, and it's a turnover on downs. Frontier will take it over with 2.09 to play. So barring a major mistake here, Franklin Tech will get a goose egg again. And they'll go back to the drawing board on their offense, and Frontier will come away with a lopsided victory. Again, four rushing touchdowns by Garrett DeForest and a fumble recovery in the end zone. I've accounted for the scoring in this one. 
And the pitch is going to go to DeForest. He's going to cut out of the backfield, and he's going to get brought down way behind the line of scrimmage. Probably a six-yard loss or so there. As that was good pursuit by Franklin Tech. And this is one of those situations where you do not want Garrett DeForest to suffer an injury. And I would almost think that you would take him out of the game. It looks like he's headed to the sidelines. Still a lot of football left, and you've got Turner's next week. And there's a flag against Franklin Tech, so that'll move the ball and move the chains as well. Personal foul against Tech, so that's a fresh set of downs for the Red Hawks. And a flag on the play. Legal procedure on Frontier. So that'll knock him back for five more yards. And we are about a minute 38 away from the end of this one. We've got a first and 15 for Frontier. First and 15. All the way the yard line. At the 23. Inside give. It's back up to about the 25, almost the 26 yard line. And I'll bring up third. And 14. Actually, it's second and 14. Side handoff goes nowhere. And it's a loss of two. That brings it third and about 16. And we're down at the final 25 seconds again. Frontier. Four rushing touchdowns from Garrett DeForest to fumble recovery in the end zone. And this will probably be the last play, I think. Pitch goes on the right side. And up to about the 25, 26. And that is the ball game. The final score from Turner's Falls. Frontier Redhawks 33, the Franklin Tech Eagles Nothing. Frontier moves to four and one on the season. And has a date and homecoming next weekend. Turner's Falls Indians Friday night will be their broadcast partners, Megan Self, Sam Fink, Al Gecko, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports, Kevin Murphy and Chris Collins. Final score, Frontier 33, Franklin Tech Nothing. We'll talk to you next time. Red Hot Football, Frontier the Access. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Daniel Gray is Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at BobbyCDJService.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television.